Whoa. I think maybe she's done this before. <laughs> she said she had it. <laughs> right. Did she tell you she was a virgin, too? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what do you guys think about this new unit? Well, that all depends on the sergeant major. If he's easy, it's easy. Then we're shit out of luck, because I know the new sergeant major. His name's Plumley. Plumley? Sounds like Pansy. Yeah? Let me tell you about Plumley. I'd been in about six months when they signed me to this heavy weapons unit, and the platoon sergeant is the nastiest looking mother I ever saw. All scarred up, one bad bastard. We had this green lieutenant, fresh out of university ROTC. He orders us to go back one day and pin on our ribbons, whatever we've been awarded, so we can see what kind of men he's got. We uh, go back, put on our stuff, and reassemble. But the sergeant, he didn't put his ribbons on. So the lieutenant chews him out in front of the whole unit, wants me to go back and pin on his dress shit. You return to the barracks immediately and pin every award on your chest. Do you understand me, sergeant? About 10 minutes. Sarge comes back. <laughs> Not one medal of honor around his neck, but two. Besides that, naked as a jaybird. It was Plumley. No, that's Sergeant McDoon. Well, what the hell does that story got to do with Plumley? Because Plumley was McDoon's boss. McDoon, he was scared shitless of Plumley. Good morning, Sergeant Major. How do you know what kind of gun 